that the sister Akija is here with us today to take part in today's event. Thon Rusha Akija is the Executive Vice Chairman of Pampa Oil Limited and a member of the Center for African Studies Africa Advisory Board. She is Africa's most successful businesswoman with experience in fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries to name a few. She's also a philanthropist with her own foundation. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Polarusha Rakita to provide some welcoming remarks. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Jumbo. The Church. This event launches the inaugural lecture on religion and public life organized by the Center for African Studies. This subject means a lot to me, and I regard it as not only an honor, but also a privilege to have been considered to endow this chair. So, here we are. These lectures will provide a platform for the Harvard University Center for African Studies to connect with leaders with the Harvard community and beyond on, in conversations about the constantly shifting and contested boundary between the secular and the sacred, the public and the private. Conversations on hosting this lecture series began in 2017 when I met Professor Emmanuel Achenbaum for the first time. He's a pastor as well as a professor and we both shared the desire to better understand the role religion plays in the society. This is an endeavor that requires the partnership of faith practitioners and those who study them, and an understanding of how states regulate religion in public sphere. Therefore, considering Harvard's religious origins and its distinguished record, as a center of learning for almost 400 years, I could not think of a better platform for an endowed lecture on religion and public life. A report by Harvard University Weatherhead Research Cluster on religion in public life in Africa and the African diaspora declares that religion has taken a central place in Africa and African diaspora affairs, and indeed that of the global south, where more, broad, broadly, more broadly over the last few decades. As an African and a Christian, my religious belief has greatly impacted on my business and public life. Therefore, I recognize the need for there to be conversations on these topics from the African perspective. And I trust that they will engender a better understanding of Africans, our religions, our challenges, and hopefully stimulate thoughts on the way forward. It is my expectation that these lectures will inspire deeper conversation and curiosity on this topic I am glad that to see so many of you gathered here today because that means that you are particularly interested in this, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I'm looking forward to hearing from our distinguished keynote speaker in the person of Bishop John Richard Bryant, the senior bishop and president-relate of the 
North Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, a distinguished theologian with West African experience, as well as enjoying the music of the Erlen Choir of Oakwood University. Once again, I welcome you most warmly to this inaugural lecture and let the deliberations begin. Thank you. <laughs>